Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching VMware vSphere 5 video training. This is the getting started lesson for our VMware vSphere 5 video training course. In this lesson, I'll start off by providing you an introduction to our instructors. I'll cover who should watch the course. I'll answer the question, what is VMware vSphere? And then I'll walk you through the topics that will be covered in this vSphere 5 video training course. So with that, let's get started. My name is David Davis, and I'll be your instructor for about half of this vSphere 5 video training course. I've been in the IT industry for about 18 years, and in that time I've implemented VMware products in the real world as a customer with a very successful server consolidation project. I've also worked as a network, Unix, Windows, VMware admin, and even an IT manager, where I managed a data center that included a virtual infrastructure. We had about 2,500 users and about 75 locations. I've also spoke at VMworld in North America, in Europe, numerous VMware user groups, and other events. I've also authored hundreds of vSphere articles that you'll find out on the web, as well as the Virtualization Review print magazine. I've authored a number of Train Signals video training courses, including the vSphere 4 video training course, a number of the Pro Series videos, the vSphere troubleshooting course, and our vSphere performance course. I enjoy constantly learning about technology, and through that, I've achieved the VMware Certified Professional and the VMware Certified Advanced Professional Data Center Administration, or the VCAP DCA. I've also achieved my Cisco CCIE and a number of other certifications, as well as the VMware vExpert Award, which awards people for virtualization evangelism. Now let me introduce my co-instructor in this course, Elias Knaser. Okay, I guess it's my turn to introduce myself. Uh, about moi, what can I tell you about me? So from a professional perspective, I am the technology officer for uh, Sigma Solutions. My focus at Sigma is to advise customers and clients on server, desktop, application virtualization technologies, cloud computing strategies, automation of highly virtualized data centers. You know, I set the strategy for the company from a technology perspective. My passion is virtualization, cloud, and data center, but I do a lot of other things as well. And if you haven't guessed it yet, I love technical training. I love to share my knowledge. Um, I I was taught a lot of things when I was coming up in this industry, and, and I just feel like I, I love to give back. I love to help someone, and I especially love to help someone look good in the environment or in the environment they're in and advance their career. And if I can be part of that, then that really makes me feel good inside. And I'm really, really hopeful that the course that you're watching, uh, David and I poured our hearts into this. So I'm really hoping that you're going to enjoy it as much as possible. I've been doing this uh, for years. I'm a technical author of many books, CBTs, uh, to my credit. VMware has graciously given, given me the VMware Expert uh, Award twice in a row now. You can reach me at Elias, EliasCanacer.com. Follow me on Twitter. I want to know about your progress. I want to know what helped you um, with the CBT, where you're at. Add me. Send me messages. I want to know what, what's going on with you. So a little bit more about me. Virtualize everything. I believe in everything should be virtualized. <laughs> I know some of you are saying, well, what about this? No, no, no. You can virtualize that too. So I've been working with Citrix Technologies and VMware Technologies for over 10 years. I've authored many CBTs on Citrix Metaframe, XP, VMware Infrastructure. I did one on 3, 3.5, vSphere 4, and now vSphere 5. Obviously, I've gotten the, the VMware Expert Award, as I told you. I've spoken at numerous conferences, uh, the vMugs, all over the place. I love to speak. I am a contributing uh, blogger for virtualizationreview.com. I blog there twice a week. Make sure you visit the website, comment on some of the blogs. Tell me if I'm, you know, not really know what I'm talking about. I also blog for Information Week, Forbes, and on my website, EliasKnaser.com. I've also authored and co-authored uh, several books, including some MCSE, some Citrix, a couple of uh, VMware. We're also working on VCP5 now. There's a lot of cool things. And that's me in a nutshell. So who should watch this course on vSphere 5? Well, really anyone who wants to learn about vSphere 5, because this is a great entry level and all the way up to an intermediate level vSphere 5 video training option. I recommend server admins who are interested in VMware virtualization in their data center to watch this course, and really anyone who wants to see the brand new features of vSphere 5 in action. Honestly, no VMware or vSphere experience is required to watch this course. All you need to bring is a general interest in technology and virtualization.
Before I introduce the topics that we'll cover in the course, I need to first answer the basic question, what is VMware vSphere? Well, it's the most advanced virtualization platform available. It is a server virtualization platform, which means it virtualizes physical servers into virtual servers or virtual machines. Server virtualization is a solution that's going to save your company a whole lot of money and it's going to save you as an IT admin a whole lot of time and stress. It's going to make your life easier and it has the ability honestly to make you look like the hero of the IT department because you'll be able to do things so much faster and so much easier than you ever could before. And by the way, VMware vSphere is really the foundation for cloud computing. If you dream of creating your own private cloud infrastructure, vSphere is really the first step in that process. So what are we going to learn in this course? Well, we've got a ton of exciting topics to talk about. We'll start off with an overview of vSphere 5. We'll walk you through the process of installing ESXi, vCenter 5, and even vCenter 5 as a Linux appliance, or vCSA. That's a brand new feature of vSphere 5. From there, I'll move on to using vSphere 5's web client, again, a brand new feature, before we have a lesson on what's new in vSphere 5. Eli and I will show you how to navigate vSphere using the vSphere client. We'll show you how to configure your new virtual infrastructure with vCenter 5, how to create and modify virtual machines, install the VMware tools, help you to know what's going on in your virtual infrastructure by looking at tasks, events, and alarms, and then move on to Virtual Storage 101 and storage terminology. Understanding storage is very important when it comes to building a successful virtual infrastructure. I'll show you how to install and use the brand new vSphere storage appliance, or the vCSA, before we move on to creating a free iSCSI SAN with OpenFiler and vSphere 5. We'll cover the administration of vSphere security, virtual networking, and the vSphere distributed virtual switch, before I show you some of the most amazing features of vSphere, uh, those are vMotion and Storage vMotion. And oh yeah, vMotion powers Distributed Resource Scheduler, or DRS, which is going to automate the allocation of resources across your virtual infrastructure and make your virtual infrastructure perform more reliably than it ever could before. Elias will walk you through implementing VMware's high availability, and I'll show you VMware's super high availability, VMware Fault Tolerance. After that, Eli walks you through upgrading from vSphere 4 to vSphere 5. I'll show you the vSphere command line interface options. From there, Eli covers the brand new vSphere 5 auto deploy, which allows you to do mass deployments of ESXi to multiple servers in record time. I'll show you how to use another new feature of vSphere 5, and that is storage DRS. It's going to do for storage what DRS already has been doing for CPU and memory. It has the power to make sure that your virtual machines get both the performance and the storage capacity that they need. From there, I'll move on to policy-driven storage before I cover one of the most controversial topics related to vSphere 5, and that is VRAM pooled pricing. I'll show you how to get the most out of your VRAM pools that you now need to take into account when administering vSphere 5. We'll cover network I.O. control and storage I.O. control and the new features related to vSphere 5 around both of those topics. Eli will cover the new ESXi firewall, and then I'll cover the brand new VMware Data Recovery version 2. This is a new upgrade to VMware Data Recovery that has a number of additional features. And then finally, I'll end the course with a very cool lesson that'll show you how to administer your vSphere virtual infrastructure using your iPad for free. We've got so many exciting vSphere 5 topics to show you. I can't wait to get started. I think you're really going to love this course. Thanks for watching.